Hey DHS, welcome back to season four, episode 23 of Blue Level Pride Network. I'm Claire All, reporting at the high school, and it's Wednesday, April 21st. For sports news, Davis girls basketball lost to Antelope on Thursday, 73 to 36. Swim beat Sheldon, 123 to 25 for girls, and 134 to 14 for boys. Girls lacrosse played Bella Vista on Friday and won 22-0. Baseball lost to Franklin 2-1 on Saturday. This week, Swim competes against Pleasant Grove away today and against Consumers Oaks at home for their final meet of the season in Senior Night on Friday. Lacrosse plays Rio Americana away on Friday. Baseball plays Pioneer tomorrow away and Christian Brothers at home Friday. Great job and good luck athletes. Now let's watch this video from Emma Carney about community activists pushing for police reform in Davis. The Temporary Joint Subcommittee presented their findings and recommendations to Council on December 1st. Council continued to discuss the presentation on December 15th. Morgan Poindexter is a PhD student at UC Davis and a data analyst for the Temporary Joint Subcommittee. Davis is a really low crime area and, you know, we found that there are big racial disparities in who police are choosing to um, stop and search. The nine recommendations aim to accomplish two major goals, decreasing racial disparities and excessive use of force, and improving public safety through the expansion of social services. So the way that we can think about public safety is not to just look at people after they've committed a crime and to sort of punish them for committing a crime, um, but to really look at how we can keep people healthy, happy, um, in stable employment, having housing, all of these things that add up to um, reasons why someone would not need to commit any crimes. On April 6th, the City Council will hear a presentation from City staff. Dylan Horton is the chair of the City of Davis Police Accountability Commission. The, the ball is a little bit is a little bit more squarely in the council's, uh, uh, you know, sort of side of the court there, um, where they will be receiving a presentation uh, very much awaited uh, um, from city staff about uh, some of the initial steps that the city could take in moving toward fulfilling the nine recommendations. Verbal support from council has left supporters of police reform concerned, but cautiously optimistic. We're almost coming up on, you know, a year, um, you know, of the anniversary of, of George Floyd's murder. I do find myself asking sometimes, like, what is substantially different in Davis right now as opposed to a year ago. The, the thing that I'm most proud of in terms of proud of our community is that we haven't allowed ourselves to operate on that short shelf life that police reform issues typically have in the public consciousness. Um, we're here you know, uh, a couple months shy of a year later, with a good amount of the community still engaged. The Davis Police Department was contacted via phone and email, but did not respond. For BlueDevilHub.com, this is Emma Carney reporting. Thanks, Emma. Now let's see what Josh Faith has lost in game this year. Video by Carissa Ziegler. My name is Josh, and I think that one of the biggest things that I've lost during this pandemic is doing things that I don't normally love to do. Um, that includes doing gymnastics, which has just been always a really big part of my life. Um, but COVID has caused my gym to shut down many times. Uh, this is hardest for me, I think, because throughout my life, I've always enjoyed just exercising and having fun with my teammates. Um, I, but I also can't hang out with my friends in the way that we used to. And that's something I really miss, too. Um, I think that's something I've gained, though, during the pandemic is being able to spend more time with my family, especially because I won't see them very much when I'm in college. Thanks Josh for sharing and Carissa for the video. If you would like to submit a one minute video to Bean Advisory, email us at dhsbdpn at gmail.com or send us a DM on our Instagram one week before the upcoming advisory period. As always, don't forget to check out the hub in the enterprise today. And don't forget to submit your whipped cream competition video soon. That's all for this episode for BDPN. Check out our social media and bluelevelhub.com We post new content every day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next week. Make sure to keep wearing a mask and social distancing. Keep your friends and family safe. I'm Claire Alt, and this is BDPF.